Hey everyone, this is Nitro from the Rocky Valley server in the Guild Snow. So at this point, I'm now at world number 9 for the Time Rift, and I'm just going to begin the normal version of world 9. So with that all said, let's begin. So I'm just going to be doing videos on the actual world battles. I'll probably skip these you know, mini missions because almost all of those mini missions have been ridiculously easy to beat. If you can beat the world missions, you can definitely clear these, uh, I guess, minor event fights. So I'll do, you know, a video on 9-1, 9-2, 9-3, 9-4, 9-5, 9-6, 9-7, 9-8, and maybe 9-9. I say maybe because I may just jump into elite mode first before clearing 9-9. It depends on what level recommendation it has. If it's, for example, level 60 recommendation, I might wait till I actually hit level 60 before clearing it. So in any case, um, let's get started with 9-1. And as always, there's going to be a hidden chest. And I just want to take a look at the two feats. So one of them says Deep Heart takes no damage. The second is defeat seven enemies in three rounds. Interesting. So there's no limitation on the number of characters I can bring. So I'll bring the maximum that you can bring to the map. And actually, the recommended level I just saw was, what, 53? So I should be able to clear all of uh, World 9's normal missions. リハルト。もう弱けだ。この剣を受け取れ。騎士女人識の良いが整ったぞ。ああ、ジェリオール。君が力を貸してくれなかったら、絶対ここまで来れなかった。Oh, what do you know? So that's where <laughs> So I guess Ger uh Gerald taught Deathheart how to be a knight or whatever. もたもたしないでリハルト。ハハハ、分かった。では私はここに宣言する。リハルトよ。お前に騎士の称号を授ける。ウィリアム様、大変です。敵が帝国部隊が現れました。the Empire always seems to be the enemy of every single game in this series. リングリオ帝国かこの冬城を攻撃するとはえどうしてこのタイミングに今日は騎士女人式の日でしょ敵にとっては一番いいタイミングなんだろうなでも今それを言っても始まらない敵は混乱しています。全ては陛下の予想通りですね。しかし、富裕城の守備隊はそう簡単に突破できん。我らが東側から攻撃すると予測するとは敵ながらなかなかやるようだな。Oh, interesting. So Alte Muller is the emperor. だが、そうでなくては面白くない。is he the emperor or just a general? Hmm. Interesting in any case. えクリスタルを壊されちゃったら魔導法どころか冬城自体も落ちちゃうじゃない。行くぞ、ティアリス。俺たちが冬城と魔導法を守るんだ。I have to say, Tiaris' voice actor sounds a bit too whiny for my liking. In any case. Alright, so that was the story. Um, so I have to make sure Deathheart takes no damage. That's going to be incredibly annoying, actually. So why don't I bring Lead in? And is there any way to stop him from taking damage? I have no idea which direction he goes into. That's the most annoying part of all this. What does it mean by defend the floating city? Does that mean they can't step into any of these tiles? Probably. So, how can I do this? <coughs> well, I can certainly move him down, use a gain, and then activate his divine guard, and then throw him into the middle of these guys. Leaden, that is, where he should be able to counterattack and kill them all off. 
but then I have to get him over to the other side to kill those guys over there. And the method for that may be a teleporter. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's just throw in a teleporter. I'm not even going to bring Leon. I'm just going to rely on Ledin's counterattacks to kill off everything for me. And the hardest part would be probably getting into this guy's range too. Because if I move down three tiles, that's not enough to get into his range. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. What if I go without a healer? Can Leon can Leden survive 707 attack leaders with 463 attack infantry? And the answer is probably not. So no, a healer is a must. Such a hassle. As Deedheart would say, this is such a hassle because I'm trying to prevent Detar from taking no damage. So that's what's causing problems for me here. And the last thing is, how far can these flyers move? So we c they can actually walk right through the this... Uh, I thought this was terrain, but yeah. So it can just fly right through it, even though Ledin, for example, can't walk into these tiles. So overall, this is not good. Um, not if I want to kill everyone without Deedheart taking damage. That's what's giving me, yeah, that's what's giving me a headache right now. Really, it's not clearing the map. It's stopping Deedheart from taking any damage. Well, let's just try this then. We'll see. We'll give it a shot. So I don't bring a teleporter. I am bringing Leon after all. reason for that is because of this extra flyer. I can probably get rid of these three, but I can't get rid of that last one without having a character fight him. So, in any case, let's begin. The other side does have four other characters, so they shouldn't have any real trouble on their side either. So that's why I went the way I did. And I forgot the faction buff! Oh no! I had switched up my skills on Ledin because of one map. Oh well. Okay, we'll see what... Let's see how Ledin performs without the faction buff. Move him down and activate the Vanguard. And I'm not using Leon. I mean, really, he's. I'll just move him down like this, but he's not going to be attacking anything this turn. how this goes. Ah, this is convenient. Deed Heart does not move. Okay. So as long as no enemies are in range that Deed Heart can attack, he won't move. So that helps. Sure. Yeah, not having the faction buff is coming into play right now. Because Ledin is taking a lot more damage than he should. Oh, and there goes the achievement. So I have to block off this Griffin Rider. Okay. <coughs> In any case... Oh wow. More enemies. Well, since these heart already got triggered, it doesn't matter anymore. So I'll let him attack. Uh, all right. Chivalry. Get that 
should be enough from Leon to kill off this flyer gen. Yep. Next. Yes. Well, let's finish off one of these guys with the Burning Sun attack. That keeps the Vanguard active, I suppose. And self-heals him. And I'm going to activate again on Leon. So Leon gets a second attack. And might as well kill off this other fire. Alright, let's send Leon over to the right side. の血の奴は。かかってこい。強気ね。貴様。名は何という。ラーカス王国の騎士。ジェリオール。お前がジェリオールか。相手にとって不足はない。私は帝国四将軍のファーナだ。マイル。He hits hard. He hits really hard. Damn. What? <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's a marshal. あとは私に任せればよい。承知しました。魔導法に頼り切った腰抜けどもだけだと思ったが、少しは骨のあるやつがいるようだな。So if I just keep him healthy, he can hold his whole his own side without problems. Oh, and Leon actually can't get over there. Oh jeez, that's not good. Okay, so I learned something else. This is these are sky tiles. You need a flyer for this map, or a teleporter. Oh. Uh -oh. That is really not good. Then I can't support the other side at all, unless they somehow come into range of my uh, prayer. Well, I may just end up failing this run because of that. We'll see. Good because I'm literally just watching the fight on the other side. There's nothing I can do to influence it, from what I can tell. Unless, as I said, they get close enough that Liana's prayer can affect them. And that's not guaranteed at all. So I definitely brought the wrong party. Well, again, since Detart's already injured and we can't get a, that achievement, I'm just going to. Ignore it. <laughs> You'll probably just finish off this last hawk then, and then I just have to watch the other side fight. I don't think there's any way for me to bait Alte Muller over. Nope. Nope. Nothing I can do. Because, look, even Alte Muller's a flyer, but he can't cross over any of this. It's all considered uh, uncrossable terrain. So the only way to cross is these two sky tiles, or four sky tiles over here. Otherwise you cannot get across. Oh my god, okay, this sucks. Oops, I accidentally clicked and I missed the first message. 
How did they even pronounce Alte Muller? <laughs> I thought I just heard a very odd pronunciation. Pronunciation? Whatever. Actually coming. Yes. <laughs> okay, I just literally have to hope he comes across instead of walks into those tiles. Yes. もう終わりだな。ファナ、撤退しろ。落下に巻き込まれるなよ。敵を全滅させるチャンスです。私のことは構わず、敵を追撃してください。お前が傷を負ったのは私の責任だ。お前を本陣へ連れて帰れ。
this time, we're just going to skip all the chatter. Okay, so, where is that darn treasure? This time, let's actually look for it. Here, the crack on the right side. Okay, so, now that I know that to cross over, you need a teleporter or something similar, let's throw Bozo into the mix. Also, let's change up the skills <laughs> on my Ledin. That was just brutal. Not having the faction buff. So let's see how he performs now that he has the faction buff, shall we? So faction buff, Divine Guard, and Light Reflect. Okay. So I no longer have Leon, but I added Bozo. And Bozo, his skills... I'm going to bring Summon Undead to grab the treasure. And for the second skill, I could bring Dark Reaper to do damage. I could bring Sleep. It's kind of versatile on the second skill. People with Cherry would probably bring Cherry to send to the other side, I imagine. Um, yeah. I'm very curious if you can actually kill Alte Muller in this fight and what would happen if you do. But I don't think I have the firepower to do so. Because you absolutely need, you know, if I'm bringing lead in to tank hits, I don't just, I just don't have any option to, uh, I need to bring a healer to support lead in. So there's not, I don't see any way to kill Ulti Muller if I send a character across. In any case, this setup looks okay to me. Um, I'm going to try sleep just because I'm wondering if you sleep Alte Muller for a few turns and if it activates, let's say, if Clocks activates a few times, I might actually be able to kill Alte Muller on that side. So, that's the hope. In any case, let's begin. <coughs> Alright, so my main, achieve main goal this time is to prevent Deanheart from taking any damage. So that means killing off all these enemies first. Which also means I need to keep Liana back out of danger if possible. Just double checking here. Okay, so th that's fine then. So I'm going to move Ledin up two tiles, use a gain on him. And we will again Ledin. So, basically, relying on his counter-attack to take out these guys. And I could draw out three attacks, but let's not. Let's just do this. And Bozo, like I said, I need to send him over to the other side. So, let's begin moving. <coughs> Crush the second one as well. Go. Now I actually can kind of ignore that side except for grabbing the treasure. Given that it's kind of scripted for you to lose. So we'll see. Well, let's just continue for now. Huh? And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to sleep this guy. Because that way, I can prevent Detar from taking damage when he hits. When Detar, I know he's going to come in and attack. Alright, let's move in. And hit this weakened guy. Let's bring Yana in as well and heal up. Prayer. So I'm trying to get that achievement for Detard taking no damage. Treasure may end up taking me a third run in this case. Because I need... Uh, let's just skip this chatter. 
I need Bozo's sleep in order to prevent Detar from taking any damage. Alright, let in, crushing them. Lucky. Uh, clocks activated, so I can use sleep again. The important thing is, they like to actually attack uh, Liana. So I, as long as I keep these two together, it's okay. So let's just do that. I'll move Ledin down. I'll move Liana down as basically bait to draw out your attacks. The unfortunate thing is, um, Lenin's the vanguard has deactivated. And I'll move Bozo down because I need to sleep this guy as well. So, this strategy is kind of luck based, right? I needed sleep to proc. Detard decides to be stupid. Oh no, he used strike to attack. Okay, that's fine. Blah blah blah. Oh Skip my god. Over there. Let's see if I get this achievement for Detard taking no damage. I'm not sure if I will. If he dies, and he won't, because there's no Divine Guard, so... Oh. Uh. Darn it! I'm not sure how to keep prevent Detar from taking no damage then. Actually, if I had rolled this, this is where Clock of Forgiveness would have been useful because I can roll it back a turn and position them differently. Because now I know that Detart goes and attacks this guy, right? So if I place yes. my two characters yes. elsewhere, where this dragon would, uh, this, sorry, this flyer general, Hawk Knight, would attack Liana, then Detart won't take any damage. Uh. So there is definitely a way to get that achievement of no damage. In any case, it's too late for this run, so I'm going to grab the treasure first for this run. Yes. But I do have an idea now of how to do it, so... Let's just continue for now. Uh, for example, if I had placed them like this, then w they would not have attacked Detart, they would have attacked Li Liana, and uh, Detart would not have been in range of that Wind Whisper. In any case, so yeah, the strat, it seems like getting that feat, kind of luck based, but yeah. Let's summon my necromancer to grab that treasure. There we go. We grab it, and it's one epic crafter's hammer. Not very useful. Disappointingly crappy for uh, the amount of effort you would have to put it together. In any case, it's done. So there's that treasure. We'll skip this, and I'm going to actually try one more time to get that clear for Detart.
Wondered, is there any other way other than luck? Because the way I'm doing it right now is basically I need to stun anybody that did heart attacks. Well, let's see. I can actually lose characters. I think it this I think this is the best choice, the most likely method. Let in Bozo and Liana. So let's give it one more try. As I said, it, it is gonna be luck based. Actually, I'm thinking hmm. Cause I could also bring Bernhard with his shield bash as well. That would give me a second stun attack. So if I do, let's say, Bernhardt Bozol for two stun attacks. And then maybe Sophia for her rewind. Would this work? Let's give that a shot. So my new strategy is going to be Bozol, Bernhardt, and Sophia. Two stun attacks and Sophia to rewind them. I'm going to replace the summon undead with the dark reaper attack so that bozo can actually kill off targets no faction buff for uh, bozo unfortunately well yeah but bernhard can faction buff himself so okay yeah this is what i'm going to run let's see if this one works out let's go into the time rift and Eat hearts, not a scratch ability. So yeah, the, my previous attempt with Bozel, uh, if you get lucky on clocks pr activating, then you can definitely get that achievement. I'm trying to come up with a more certain, more guaranteed method of getting it, as opposed to being based by l on luck. So let's see if this works. So goodbye, Ledin. I lose my one-shot kill guy. I'm not sure if that is a really a good choice. The more I think about it, the more insecure I am about it. You know what? Let's just try this. Let's just do Leaden again. Uh, let's actually try this. So I'm removing a sleep character completely. Instead, I'm going to send Ledin charging forward to try to kill off all those guys. Let's see if this one works. Okay. So, this is the new plan. <coughs> I move over here and put Ledin right there. Can these guys attack? Yes. Let's give that a shot. Okay. Faction buff. Diana would be again. And then Divine Guard. And finally regenerate. Oh, this seems already this already seems like a mistake. But we'll see. It depends on whether Ledin can kill off both of those attackers. Relying on Ledin to kill off everyone that attacks him. If he does, then this will work out. So target number one is down. Will he die? That's the important question. Target number 
two is down too. want to prevent Detard from moving if at all possible. That actually usually means killing off this guy, but I don't think I have the ability to. So maybe I shouldn't have brought Sophia. Maybe I should have brought a damage dealer to kill him off. Oh well. We'll see. Let's do what we can. everyone. <coughs> so I'm just trying to block them off so he doesn't move, and he didn't. Okay, this may work out then. By surrounding this Hawk Knight, uh, Detar ended up not moving. And Ledin may kill off these two in the counter attacks. We go. All right. So this one's working out this time. There's two last enemies to deal with. All right. Let's reactivate the vanguard, which was refreshed by Sophia. And yeah, apply regenerate on Leaden. And finally, move Rihanna up. And she's just going to heal up Leaden to full health. There's nothing else for her to do. Alright. This looks good. So that was what he said. Alright. So blocking him off from attacking, Vitor that is, did work out. Now all I have to do is watch Ledin kill off both of these remaining enemies in counterattacks. I'm sure there's other ways to do this. You don't need to rely on a Lancer. You, know, you can probably aggressively attack. Let's say Leon killing maybe two targets in turn one and then, then somehow guarding him afterwards. But this is the method I chose. So... Yeah, I mean, it worked. I'm just gonna end my turn because there's nothing left for me to do on this side. achievement. So, here we are. So, it took three attempts, but I did get that perfect clear for the first map. So that's pretty much it. Alright. So, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you haven't gotten one of the achievements, you know, you can maybe copy one of the strategies I used to get one of those achievements. On that note, thanks for watching, and Nitro out!